what's up everybody this is part three of my mass collection review and i'm sorry i had a lot of complications with my chihuahua pinky she's a spoiled little brat and she's been begging and pleading for a lot of attention because she sees me recording the video for y'all but so further ado we're gonna do this third part she's getting comfortable right now so let's hope she's okay <laughs> All right, she made herself comfortable. So let's see if we can bang out this third review of these masks, man. I spent good money on these masks, and I want to show you guys and explain what's up. If y'all don't know, I'm a fashion designer. I'm an artist, cosplayer, clown actor, entertainer, and I've been doing this for most of my life when it comes to fashion and art, so... I wanted to do a review of my favorite masks I've been collecting since Halloween this year, 2023. And I wanted to show everybody my style and my taste. And I want to, like, let it be known what's good and what's bad about these freaking masks, man. That you can get either at Spirit of Halloween or in your Halloween store or your commercial store. So, let's break it down. Alright, so you know I had to get me another white face. I had to get me another white face mask. Uh, blank mask. It's for 14 years and older. You could wear this mask for a masquerade. You could paint it, throw blood on it for like the purge. It comes with a cheap skinny, but to be honest, I think these strings are stronger than the elastic strips. You know, the elastic one, the black elastic. I think these strings are better. These strings, they remind me of, like, um birthday parties. Like, you know, when you wear a party hat. And the mask, too, feels like a party hat material, like a plastic party hat. But it has the nose holes, which is great. And it has the mouth hole, hole <laughs> so you can breathe. And the eye holes so you can see, especially if you don't work glasses unfortunately i wear glasses so if i were to model this mask i'm gonna need contacts i'm gonna need some type of glasses on top or something but so far i had to get me a, a white face because i thought it was cool because you don't have the phantom of the opera face and then i got these parade gloves with snaps let's open it I said it comes, oh, okay, yeah, these are like the kind of clown gloves in a way. I had these gloves before for my Cotton Candy the Clown. It comes with the snaps. You can snap it. Okay. That's cool. And it's a material, it's like a stretch knit. So it'll be able to stretch my fat, bulky, manly, beefy hands. So it came with those gloves, which I love. The face mask and the glove sets. Awesome, awesome deal. Great price. A great snag and a great find. And I'm so happy that I treated myself to this kind of quality stuff. Good quality. Not bad at all. Nice and white. Freshly clean. And randomly, I bought myself the Shark Man costume. I had to get me this. I thought this was so adorable, so cute. It's second hand because it's all rough around the edges. Totally beat. So maybe the owner before me wore it. Have fun with it, which is cool. That's part of the history of this costume. It came with the gloves. Have hands. You see what I'm talking about? With the elastic, at least it comes with a thick elastic elastic stra <gasps> strap. Excuse me. I don't know if my fingers go through here. I think so. I think those holes. I don't even think those. Maybe these were like. I don't think my fingers will fit. Yeah, my thumb fits a little bit. So maybe yeah. My fingers. Yep. Yeah, it fits my fingers more or less. That's. I'm back the hands and it came with the flipper 
the flipper for your feet. Oh, I like that spray paint pattern. And super swimmers. I don't know if anybody has this already, but if you do have it, let me know how it works out for you. If it works, if you like it, the straps are thick, like rubbery plastic straps. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. I don't know if it's going to fit my feet. I'm a men's nine and a half. So I don't really swim at all, but maybe this will help me. This will help me swim better and become a pro swimmer like a shark. So it came with the two flappers, the two, um, how you call it? The two, two of these the hands, the spike hands and then the, the fin, you know, the eyes for the face. And this is like another quarter. I wouldn't call this a half mask. I would call it like a quarter mask. Oh man, that looks dope. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Gray and black. My shoes knit. So that was that. Um, let's talk about this randomly. I got me my money, 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 money hat to go with my wardrobe on my everyday fits. I got me a nice hat. Extra large, but the thing about this hat, it doesn't really, like, stretch my head. Like, for some reason, I think since I've been, like, getting my education on in college, like, my brain's been getting so much bigger. <laughs> for some reason, that's how I feel. Like, you know, my brain is, like, growing. So, this is my next hat. I'll be modeling when I get jigged up and I get dressed up. I bought that and I got some, these are just some gloves that I got. Oh. Right. I'm trying to organize this so I could get to it better. Oh, this is a mask. Let's talk about this. I bought me an it looks like a, a ninja mask, like a Mortal Kombat style mask. A ski mask. Mortal Kombat style, which is dope. I like the shape of the eye holes and I like the nose, the details to fit your nose. And that's the bag. No zippers, no buttons. Just a cool ski mask to wear. If you want to do like a Mortal Kombat cosplay or something. That'd be dope and fun. And let's talk about this. Let's talk about another ski mask. Is this is a fleece one? Y'all know I like the fleece because it's really oh my god, it feels soft and plush. It feels like a fleece blanket is gonna be wrapped around my face. Oops. And then it has the drawstrings here in the side of the mouth. Which is a cool feature. I totally didn't see that. That it has like the drawstrings for the mouth. Nice black fleece. Black, blood, black, black, black. Cause y'all know my favorite color is black and red and white and gray. Even though I don't wear a lot of gray, but black and gray. I mess with it. And I got these gloves already. See, they're like them. These are good quality gloves. So you can do like, you know, your your phone stuff, your tablet stuff, computer stuff. It has the, the pointer tips. And it has the texture here to, you know, get a cool grip. And it has a zipper. There's zippers, which is awesome. And it has like a little logo thing here. When stoppable XY. Red and white, which I don't mind because I like red, white, black. So, these gloves were a go-to. It came with the Mortal Kombat. I think this one came with the Mortal Kombat style mask. And then, I believe...
this one came with the mono that's like three why do i get why did i get three i have two masks here and it's three sets of gloves oh, okay here there's a set right there okay so i guess this one had came with the mortal kombat mask and then this one came with the fleece mask it came in a cool zipper pouch and it has a red logo tag can your lord? Can your lord? I don't know how to say that. Oh, it has the power logo, graphic design, and the textile. The textile. <laughs> the textile on the grippers. That's nice. The fingertips has that effect, and the pointer finger has a smooth surface where you could like you know touch and be on your laptop, tablet. This will be dope with my ski mask. I got into masks and gloves like this because of COVID. You know, when COVID, y'all noticed. If you go through my history, you'll see me modeling, like, masks like this and gloves. And, like, respirator-style masks for my face. So, I've been doing that a whole lot. And then, I got these gloves... And a cool baggie so they don't get dirty or messed up or damaged. These like pleather. They look like motorcycle. Motorcycle. They came with a zipper there. I don't know if this is even gonna fit me. It should is an extra large. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's going to be like a skin tight, yup. Skin tight, and then the zipper goes down and blah, out. Oh, man, that looks so badass. Oh, and it has a logo here, warm gloves, it says. So it's just warm gloves. Stay warm. Nobody knows. It's like a stop symbol, like stop. I'm trying to stay warm. I'm not trying to rob the bank, or I'm not trying to commit no crimes or felonies over here. I'm just trying to wear gloves. And I like how it has a thin fleece trim. That's really cute detail. Really good quality. Really nice. Really, really dope. I can wear this either for the winter with my jacket collection. Or I can wear this with the, the mask that I'm going to show you guys. So... Came two gloves, put it back in the Ziploc baggie for the gloves so they don't get ruined or damaged because this material is like nice, expensive looking. So I wouldn't want that to get ruined or messed up. Okay, put that there on the side. Put that there. Alright, so that came with this. Gloves and masks. Like I've been saying, guys, that's my thing right now. Mask and gloves. I got this Mortal Kombat style mask right here. See? That's the mouth part. It doesn't really have the nose detail. It's just, you know, it just covers your mouth like that. You see Mortal Kombat mask. And that's the back. That's the front. And, um, I, I have this already. I believe I have it in red and black. But I wanted to get me the gray and black version. So, even if, even like a half mask, that still be cool. You know, if I wanted to redesign it or something, you know, cut the top part off and just use it. For COVID and wrap my face up tight. So that was that. Now back to my Halloween mask review. Right now, that was just all masks just to wear, to stay warm, and to dress up with my jacket collection. Winter's coming up. I'm in November 2023. So I wanted to have those sets. To model and wear when I dress up 
So when I do costuming and stuff like that. Okay. Put that bag right there and I'll clean that up later. My New York or my money. My triple money. Alright, so I got this box full of masks. We're gonna see. Hopefully I can fit it all back. So this is the second set of the zombie face set that I bought with the hands. And it came with the black nails. No, I didn't paint the nails black. It came like that. This is just a mask again. Mask set that I ordered. You can probably get it in any Halloween or costume store. It's a half face. And I think this face is like lighter than the other face. Because I think they're the same. It has like that. Oh, uh, that like. Uh, I can't do it on this side. I could only do it in this side <laughs> so yeah the eye holes are pretty big you know you can put makeup around your eye if you need to and it's just you know scary gory it's not that bloody but you can make it bloody for halloween you can buy fake blood and put it on your scarring and in between your teeth to make it like more like gory and nasty looking but you see what i'm talking about the half the half hands Show you guys like that. You see half hands. I'm like, but where's this piece? I need this piece because I like to cover my whole hand. And then unfortunately, it don't have. Whoa, I just realized it don't have like the strap. What's up with that? It don't have the strap on the bottom. It's just. Why? You just put it on like that? You just put it on like that, I guess. You're supposed to just let it do its thing, you see? But then, what about this part? You see, I don't know. I'm not crazy about that. Some people might like that. But, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Y'all think that looks still cool and freaky? Even though it's like I got palm to do different stuff. Let me know what y'all think on the comments below. How y'all feel about those half gloves quarter size gloves, fingerless gloves, when it comes to your Halloween collections. And yes, it came with the elastic, see? The last, that's the elastic I was talking about. That I'm like, mm, they get worn out so fast, those freaking elastics. It's not even funny. All right, we're gonna see this one. I try to keep them safe and secure and nice bags and stuff like that. Instead of just squeezing them in the box, you know, they will look better on like display foam heads. But right now I'm just a beginner. And this is my, what, third or fourth zombie mask. Oh my God, it's huge. Look at that. Wow. My whole head and my glasses pie could fit under this freaking whole head mask. Look at that. Look at the top. How creepy and gory and like I said, you could fill up those scars and cuts and oh, that gooey and you could put gooey stuff. You can make your own tar. You can make it way more gruesome and nasty. I like the big poppy eyeball. Oh man, I love that eyeball. I love masks with eyes. That's another detail you guys will learn about me is that I love the eyeballs and the fangs. This doesn't have fangs, which is disappointing. I can always put fangs if I want to make this a vampire zombie, but basically, it's just a simple humanoid zombie that I thought was fun and cool, and I just needed it to have it in my collection. And I love the smell of latex. That smell is just... Oh my god, I'm addicted to that smell. Don't get me started. So we're going to go back to old school. This is my old school vintage mask that I just bought to the other, the other week. My Dracula. Dracula. Hey, Dracula, I done to suck your blood. Ah, 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 ah. 
And I loved how it had the teeth, which it looks like candy corn the way they painted it. But it looks really cool. Simple. And I love the ears. Oh, man, this ear is amazing. Just the ears in itself is, like, dope. Like, the elf-style ears, that's fun. I like how, you know, the old school, the V hair point is there. The thick eyebrows. Y'all know I be doing some thick eyebrows my damn self. <laughs> Let's not get started on that. But I like the whole face paint. I like the nose. It's real skinny. It makes my nose look perched. And then the back comes with elastic, which is like, uh, I'm not super dewy. You see, it's like already getting ruined. I gotta cut this. Maybe I have to put a thicker. This is why I'm talking about the the elastics that they wear out. I may have to put a new elastic to sew a new strip of elastic so it'll fit my face more better and more comfortable. So this is my Dracula mask. And I like how the tongue is there. That's a fun detail. Fangs, tongue, ears. Thumbs up. Hair, of course. Eyebrows, extra feature that is dope. And sideburns, oh snap, let's get into the sideburns. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do my double. This video might be longer than, because it's already 20 minutes in, y'all. But I hope you guys are still hanging in with me, looking at all these masks. Look at this. I got this devil. It's the same thing with the elastic, like the Dracula. But look at these horns. These horn details. I think they're fun. This is an old school vintage um, devil, devil mask. And look, he has fangs there. You see the fangs he got? And oh man, this will fit my face so cool. All I gotta do is wear like a red hoodie or a red robe or a red like cape. And I'll be good to go with my porch fix. And I got my devil hands already piling up. I got like three or four devil hands that are full hand front and back. Which you'll see in my pictures. If you go to TikTok, my Instagram, you'll see me modeling my hands for the devil, Satan. Let's say this is Satan, the Satan face. Satan half mask. What do you guys think? Let me know. You like the mask quality? I love it. I think it's cool. The wrinkles. Um, the little light black airbrush around the eyes, like the black eyeliner, thin lips, you know, humanoid face, but with fangs. So I can call this my vampire devil, my vampire Dracula. I mean, my <laughs> vampire Dracula, satanic devil, Satan face. <laughs> yep. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit, y'all. And I got this mask with hands. My skeleton with the moss, and it came with, oh, look at this net. Oh, wow, this netting. This is going to go with my um my zombie costume that I modeled on TikTok. Um, it has elastic. Let me see if I can cut this thing. There we go, so you guys can see it better. Okay, this was the hands, but you see, it came with the the elastic, the two-sided elastic, the rough and the soft side. That's a good elastic to put on costumes whenever you're making costumes. That's that's a good quality. And then this is the good side. The mossy skeleton hands. I love skeletons, so I had to get this set because skeletons, oh man, I go way back with skeletons. Like, I love wearing skeletons. I don't know why. I think skeletons are classic and fun and just never grow old. And I like how this has, like, the mossy, you know, dirty, grungy feel from, like, being in a swamp. And then the fact that it came with the ragged, tigered. back it's even more spooky and freaky and then this is the face and the face is a half mask i thought it was like a whole head in a way it gives you that whole head illusion but it's just a half mask with elastic 
and the teeth, and it has a mouth hole, like through the teeth, there's a slit there so you can breathe, there's nose holes in the nose, and eye holes, nice size eye holes, which you could probably wear your glasses underneath this mask, and you could just have a field day, scaring the heck out of people with this mask, so I needed to have this mask in my collection because of the mossy zombie, mossy zombie, so... If you guys think you have a better mask than this and you want to sell it, let me know. I'm a mask collector. If not, I can give a review on your work. I would love to rate and review different masks and stuff. So let's talk about that later. But this is my mossy skeleton for my skeleton. I have skeleton hands somewhere. So I can always switch it up. You know what I mean? That's why I like to buy the gloves and the mask. And then if I need to switch up the gloves, I can wear different gloves. Like my black gloves. I can wear black gloves with that. I don't have to wear skeleton gloves. I can wear just like any type of gloves. I can maybe wear like devil hand gloves. Like I said, my devil hands. And last but not least, we have my predator costume oh my god i wanted a predator costume so so bad i love 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 the predator so this was his hand and that's how his hand with the black nails he was created full hand you see what i'm talking about front and back full hand latex heavy duty